guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video don't mind me i'm like itching my knee so for today's video as you can see from the title i'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks on how to sell and i'm going to tell you tell you i'm going to take you i can never talk when i'm shooting videos i'm going to take you on my trip to plato's closet with me so you guys can actually see like the whole like shebang and everything like put into play so on my Instagram, um, I did post a, a poll on my IG story. If you're not following me, make sure to follow me. Um, I posted a story. I keep saying I posted a story. I posted a poll on my story and it was pretty much stating like, do you guys know what Plato's Closet is? And a good like four to 500 of you guys answered. And it was maybe like 10 of you guys out of that many that said yes everyone else said no so you guys are probably like what is this even like on this video so i'm glad i can introduce you to like plato's closet and like this is not sponsored but you know it should be but whatever so if you're interested in seeing more about this video and how to make some shmanes then keep on watching <music> you guys come for my life i'm shooting the night before um and i'm gonna take you on my journey to plato's closet so that's why i look like a bum but if you like my shirt if you're team spongebob um make sure to watch my five below video like this is where i got it, it was only five dollars so anyways so to get into this whole video plato's closet is a store um there's it's like every not everywhere but there are multiple locations and what it pretty much is, is you could sell your used clothing. So it's kind of like thrifting in a way, but it's like you make money off of what you want to sell. So if you guys don't already know, like if you don't follow me, follow my Instagram, follow my Facebook, you know, I'm obsessed with the way like I dress. Like when it comes to trends and fashion and style, like I'm always tagging like everything. Like that's how I got into like content creating. Honestly, it was the way I dress. But I'm always like rotating outfits constantly, rotating pieces. And I got into like a really bad habit that I'm either always buying new stuff for like outings and like when I go out and I don't like repeating things either. If it's like something like really statement and out there, I'm not repeating it because it's just like you guys already saw me in it. So that's a really bad habit that I need to get out of, but whatever. So I tend to sell a lot to Play-Doh's Closet and I make money back. So like I said, if you guys want to like make some money on like your clothes and also they buy clothes, shoes, heels, um, accessories they buy like jewelry hair stuff belts bags um sportswear like you name it they'll buy it and they also buy guys clothing too so guys if you want to sell like i even was telling devon i was like give me some of your stuff like i'll sell it for you so it's more so like trendy like juniors young women young men's clothes they buy they don't buy any kids clothes um I have not really seen like adults, like mom and dad, like clothes in there. Um, but I don't know. I have to really like dig through it because like I'll sell, but I'm going to be very honest with you guys. Cause like I said, I like to be very transparent. I don't buy from them because that's just not me. Like I have nothing against anyone who thrifts or anything like that. I just, I don't know. I just can't buy. Like I sell, but I just can't buy and take it home and wear it. Like I don't know. That's just me. But like I said, I don't knock anyone who thrift shops. Um, I see people who thrift shop and they come out with like such bomb items, and I'm just like, okay, I see you. So that's pretty much what Plato's Closet is. It's like a place that you could bring all your clothing and shoes and outerwear and everything else that I named, both guys and girls, and you could go in there and sell. So when it comes to Plato's Closet, it's not like, okay, say I bought this shirt for 20, you're going to buy it for 20. No, it doesn't work like that. They pretty much buy like 50% and under. So if my shirt was 20, 50% is $10. So they're going to pay like 10 and under for the shirt. And you guys have to understand too, like some people are just like, ew, like why? But then again, it's like, if I'm never going to wear this shirt again and or it doesn't fit me anymore or I just don't like it anymore, it's like good to sit in my closet. So I might as well go make some type of money off of it. Or I mean, you guys can donate. I have donated like literally probably like my whole life. But ever since I found Plato's Closet, I have been selling back. So that's what they do. They tend to buy back for like 50% or less. Um, they don't always buy or take everything like you could go in there with like 20 pieces and they'll sometimes only approve like 10 Sometimes they'll only take like two other times. They'll take all 20 like it's really like a hit or miss 
So this video is mostly on like the tips and tricks, how to get the most bang for your buck and how to get rid of like all your stuff and get money for it. So we're just gonna jump right into that and just tip number one. Now I'm gonna start with this tip because I feel like this tip is the most important tip. Like you guys could Google and YouTube, hit up TikTok, everyone says this about Play-Doh's Closet. So I'm just gonna grab, oh, okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this dress. I can't even pick it up. This dress. She's a little wrinkly, but I wore her like twice and I just don't want her no more. So what you're gonna do here, we're gonna start with tip number one. Wow, I still see, I still have a like, little tag thing in it. Tip number one is you're gonna cut the tag. And when I mean cut the tag, not this that says, what does it say? Steps and why, no. You are gonna search in your clothing search for these little white tags now these little white tags like i used to work in retail so i'm gonna be like all like legitish i swear i'm just like making up words they have SKU numbers on it the SKU number is now you can input them in anywhere and it'll tell you what year it was like manufactured or made or anything like that and plato's closet does not like to take anything more than two years old so when it comes to that, now like this dress, I bought this maybe like three to four years ago and I'm pretty sure when I cut this off, like I said, you're gonna cut it off and you're gonna use, everyone's probably like, oh, these little scissors, girls, you know, these are your eyelash scissors. You are going to cut this little sucker off. Farewell, bye. It is now off and they have nothing to input now into their system because they have a system that they could input skews and everything like that and they'll see like everything when like you put the number in of course i can't talk guys but we already know this <laughs> so that's number one rule now this one right here that says steps and why i mean you kind of don't really have to like take it off i kind of feel like i personally don't take those ones off i'm just taking off the little clear tag guys i don't see any reason to take this off it says no skew number this says nothing and that's pretty much it. That's like the number one rule. Cause like I'm telling you, they could take that SKU number and put it in and see that this dress is three to four years old. And I can guarantee you guys tomorrow when I film this dress, they're gonna buy this dress. Not knowing it's four years old and they don't like to buy anything more than two years. So that is my number one tip to take out all your tags. So say another dress, like I have a, another dress here this dress i believe is three years old this dress right here so it has the windsor tag on the inside right here it just says the uh, company name and the size right here guys and then you would have to like flip it so i'm gonna flip it to see here you go bingo here is my tag with my skew but also guys make sure that you're flipping the entire thing because sometimes companies will have tags on both ends of it so make sure this tag is gone and i'm telling you guys this is a number one best rule i'm telling you if you like google this oh my god i don't want to drop this if you google this everyone is going to tell you to cut cut your tags so that's pretty much that so that was another one down okay guys now you see all these little tags here i cut them all out of my clothing all of them have a different skew number which states the year that they were made and everything like that and like i said before plato's closet does not like buying anything more than two years old because they are trying to buy things that are in trend that are in style now so, so tip number two guys i always do this every time i do two i always do four but anyway tip number two um this this tip kind of sounds i don't even know the word for this like it sounds a little like re like really like i don't know maybe i'll insert a gif in there <laughs> but it just kind of sounds like okay like way to be bougie but whatever but they judge on what you bring your clothing in so i'm talking about like don't come through with like a garbage bag full of clothes like angelina from the jersey shore like don't use this this is this is no throw that away um they want to see you come in with like 
a clean bag. Um, I've seen girls come in there with like duffel bags and they fold things up. I've seen other girls come in there with their laundry baskets or like a nice basket and fold things up. Um, I have came in there and I continue to come in there like I actually saved the bags. So this kind of sounds a little bougie, but I mean compare like, okay, let me just show you the bags and then I'll explain my story. So I, oh my God, my bags are falling. So I saved my Louis bag, like that, what it comes in. I actually have another one that I filled up too. And then I also saved like an even Marcus bag and I fold my clothes and put it in there. So actually tip number three, when you are packing your stuff, make sure your clothes are folded and nicely put into the bags because they don't want to see just your clothes thrown and then they have to like take it out. Like no one would want to see that. Like I wouldn't even want to see that myself, but I don't even work there. So make sure you fold your clothes and put them in nicely. And tip number, what are we up to number four? I think we're up to number four. Tip number four, make sure that your clothes are washed and ironed or dry cleaned or just cleaned in general, like whatever. Because there um, have been stories that I've heard, like even the girls at the counter will tell you like, it smells, it has stuff on it, it has stains on it. I'm like, do these girls not know? Like, or guys not know? But just make sure your stuff is clean, okay guys? Because it's just like, I don't know, it's gross. <laughs> this goes into tip number five now, like you're coming in there with presentable things, so that means walk in there presentable. Um, I know that kind of sounds a little harsh or whatever, a little vain, but they want to see you like come in there, not like a bum. Like imagine like, okay, so picture this, like I have to give you guys a scenario. Imagine one person and they, I'm not saying they're wearing designer, they're just clean cut, you see them shower, clean everything, dress fine, and they want to sell you a shirt. Now you see a second person and you see them like bummed out and they look like, I don't know, I don't even know the word right now, but like, you know, bummed out, whatever, like they look like they're messy and they're coming in and they're trying to give you a shirt too. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and lie, like everyone's situation is very different and I don't knock anyone for that, but I'm just, like I said, I'm trying to be very transparent with you guys and I'm giving you the best tips and tricks that actually work. So if they see like two people come in like that, they're gonna go first towards the person who is clean cut and dressed nice. So I'm not saying go in there like fabulous, like in heels, dress, everything like that, but don't look like you rolled out of bed kind of thing. Like look like you actually put in some effort that you're going to Plato's closet, that you're trying to sell your stuff and get money. So that is my tip number five for you guys. So tip number six, when it comes to selling accessories, same thing goes like don't bring in something that looks crazy like so they buy alex and ani bracelets um i'm sure every girl probably has at least one like this was such a thing i was obsessed with these but now i don't wear them anymore and they just kind of sit in my jewelry like store so i'm just like what am i doing let me sell them so i don't know if you guys could tell like this one right here she's a bit not even a bit she's rusty she's dark now this one, she is pretty new. You can literally see the difference here. So when it comes to that, they're gonna probably buy this one, not even probably, they will buy this one or they buy this one. So my best suggestion is when it comes to taking jewelry there, make sure you clean it. Make sure you clean it down with alcohol. That's like the same thing as if you're sharing like any jewelry with anyone else. I don't know about you guys, but if I'm borrowing like my friend's earring or necklace or something, I'm wiping it down with alcohol. Nothing against you guys, but it's just, if you guys aren't, then I'm just, I don't know, but whatever. So clean it with alcohol, guys. Another tip is if you're selling like stuff like this hair stuff, see now this is where it gets a little tricky. They don't, um, from what I've noticed, they don't buy any used hair things like this. But you see how this is like brand new packaged, everything tag on and everything. I could sell this and this is okay. Like they will inspect it. I've seen girls like smell things and I'm like more power to you guys, whatever you guys want to do. Stuff like this you could sell if you want to sell hair stuff. Like if you didn't like it or if you want to just get rid of it, sure, go ahead. But like say this was like off of the board, like this is still stitched on. If it was off of the board, they're not going to buy like a hair scrunchie like that. So tip number six, guys, make sure you clean your accessories and make sure if you're selling accessories that it's like, I guess not new, but 
gently used, barely used, not used, I guess you could say new, but I'm sure you guys get the picture. Okay, you guys, so those are my six tips that I shared with you guys about Play-Doh's closet, and that's not the end of it. This is just for tonight. This is like the prepping stages before you go to Play-Doh's closet, and tomorrow when I take you guys along with me to get like this bowl actually moving so you guys can see actually how everything works and how you make the money and everything like that, I'll be sharing more of my tips with you. So if you're interested in seeing that, then come along with me while I wake up and we go to Play-Doh's closet. Okay, guys, so it's the next morning, and we're getting ready to go to Plato's closet so I just wanted to show you what I got here so this bag right here is all my clothing there's 21 pieces this bag over here is oh, all accessories there's eight pieces total of that and then this bag right here is all shoes and heels now I know one of the tips I gave you were to pack it nice but shoes and heels they fully understand if it kind of looks a little messy so this is everything I have all together okay so right over here I'm sure you guys have noticed that I have two pairs of sneakers now I wear kid sizes these are a size like two two and a half so if you stay and watch to the end of this video you'll see I have a bonus clip of how to sell like kids things so that's exactly where I'm gonna sell those so for all you moms and dads out there that are trying to get rid of your kids stuff then keep on watching for that as okay, well so this brings me to tip number seven so tip number seven is always go to Plato's closet early now I'm talking about like when they kind of open early so the one that I'm going to right now they're open from 10 a.m. till 8 p.m. today and I'm here at 11 a.m. unfortunately I could not wake up to come here for 10 a.m. so the reason behind that is they have a budget that they're working with throughout the day so just example say their budget is 2,000 for the day and you decide to come in at like 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. they only have maybe like $300 left of that budget so what you should have gotten for those prices um, you're not gonna get them like so if you go in the beginning of the day they have all that money to work with so they could highball you as opposed to the end of the day so that is another really good tip tip number seven lucky number seven so that is something I definitely tell a lot of people when I come to Plato's closet just make sure you go very early I was gonna say very and I was gonna say really and it, it, I know what's wrong with me just make sure you go really early and then you'll get a better price for i guess your clothing or your shoes or anything like that so that kind of rolls into tip number eight tip number eight is the day of the week you go never sell on a weekend because the weekends are crazy and you're competing with so much other people i always suggest to sell during the week and when i mean during the week i say like monday through thursday and early like pick like a random day like today is tuesday it's tuesday morning and i am right because there's like no one in the parking lot right now and i could see into plato's closet there's no one in there as well so that rolls into tip number eight never go on the weekend always go during the week so can i just say i'm getting like the vibes of my first video that i ever shot like my tie-dye video if you guys haven't seen that make sure to check that out because it was like same scenario same setting thing so i'm outside of plato's closet right now so i'm gonna bring you guys along with me only if I can record inside there if I can I'm gonna like take some clips so you guys can see exactly like what the store looks like and everything Hey guys so unfortunately i couldn't film inside for you guys but i did take some videos inside the store so you guys could like get a gist of like what it actually looks like inside so the process of plato's closet is you walk in you walk up to the counter and they always ask you if you sell with them before or have sold with them before so if it's no they're going to take your id down um a copy of your id actually and they do this because it's like the same thing as like pawn shops they're trying to make sure that nothing that you're selling is stolen now if you have sold with them before you could let them know that your phone number or your name and they'll let you they'll, well they'll not let you they'll input it into the system and then they'll ask you if this is you and if it is you then you're okay so this is something new um i guess it's due to covid it's like less interaction they had sent me a text when i said yeah that was me because i have sold with them before and it was a mobile check-in so with the mobile check-in it was just signing a statement saying that you're selling to them and etc cetera, etc cetera, you know everything going down with that so and then after that they take your bags and they give you a time stamp so the time stamp is for you to know when to come back you can't i mean you could stay in there and you could shop around but otherwise it's like you don't kind of just stand there and wait around until they go through things because they have other people ahead of you that like say if you go in there really early and you're the only one they'll be like all right give me like 10 minutes but if there's other people ahead of you what i noticed um the other bags on the floor i feel like there was like two or three people ahead of me so they told me give them give them 30 minutes so i was like okay so that case like i said you could either stay there shop around look around 
or you could just leave so i usually leave i'm about to go get something to eat but um usually what they do is they'll either send you a text or they'll call you and be like your order is ready so when your order is ready and you go there you pick it up and they'll tell you okay we're taking say five out of these 20 items you brought in we're taking 20 out of these 20 items you bought in they'll have a receipt for you and they'll tell you all the prices of what they're gonna buy the items for and then they'll have the total on the receipt and you could either decline it or you could say yes and take the money so it's really honestly up to you but like i said guys you guys remember that they're buying these things for 50 percent and lower so you have to know you're not going to go in there making like 500 i mean actually you probably could go in there making 500 dollars, but it's just like you guys get what I'm saying. Like, don't think that you're going to go in there with a $50 shirt and you're going to get that shirt back for $50 kind of thing. So also, I've noticed in there, um, I'm not too sure if this was always a thing, but in the location I went to, they had a bag limit of four. So I had bought in three bags, thank God. I didn't even know there was a bag limit, but there was a bag limit of four. But I kind of do like that because it gives everyone else a chance to sell their things too. So those are just like some things I wanted to tell you about my experience just now, and we'll come back to see what I actually mean. So I am pretty much coming into the end of my Plato's Closet video. So my last tip of the day is tip number, nine yeah i think we're up to number nine guys so tip number nine is to make sure you hit multiple locations if your city has it so what i mean by that is in my area there's three different play-dohs um locations and i went to the first one and they took certain things they didn't take other things and then i went to the second one and they took majority of my stuff and then my third one kind of wrapped it all up for me so what i pretty much mean by that is like what some locations won't take other locations will what some locations will take other locations won't so to test your luck and try to get like as many things sold as possible i definitely suggest you guys going to multiple locations like i did so i'm gonna show you what we made guys we made some shmanes and i got change here i can't even hold my chain i got change here guys so all together let me show you guys before you guys think i'm lying here like look like so all together, I cashed out with $198.33, all from Plato's Closet, selling old clothes, and I literally got rid of, like, everything. So this is what I mean, guys, by, like, all these tips and tricks, like, everything pretty much got sold and taken. And like I said in the kind of the beginning of the video, if you waited till the end, I had a little surprise. So I'm currently waiting at once upon a child. I was about to say once upon a time. <laughs> and if you look closely, it says we buy and we sell. So they buy and sell everything kid related when it comes to like appliances, clothes, shoes, jackets, strollers, toys, everything you can think of, they buy. So this is where I sell all my kids sneakers. I'm currently waiting at Once Upon a Child because they kind of have like the same system going on. You go in, you drop the stuff off, they have to go through it. Sometimes it can range from different times. So I'm currently waiting to see what they take from me now. So I kind of got a little lucky because Once Upon a Child, they do take only children's clothing. And like I said, my feet are really small. So they do majority of the time take my sneakers and then some of my clothing, like the t-shirts and stuff like that. Um, my smalls are pretty much like kids large. So, so I got $15 and 10 cents from that. So I am happy because I pretty much almost cleared out like everything. Like everything I started with, I sold all my bags. Out of the nine pairs of shoes, I only had two pairs of shoes left. I sold all my accessories and out of my clothing, I had 21 pieces of clothing. I only have three pieces of clothing left. So I personally feel like all my tips and tricks worked. I had a really good day. So yay. So guys, that is bringing my total to 200 and. $13 and I believe it is I don't even know how much cents. I believe it's 48 cents. So $200 and 48 cents. Now I feel like that is really good considering like that was a lot of stuff that I don't wear, stuff that was like years old, stuff that Plato's Closet technically doesn't like to buy, but they bought. So I'm really excited that I got to sell majority, like 90% of my things. So I'm hoping this video helped you guys with your tips and tricks. Well, with my tips and tricks that I've learned and that also I've made up some of them myself as well. So I feel like if you guys do this video or if you guys go and go to Plato's Closet, please let me know. Comment down below if you're interested in like more of these videos. If you want to see more like how-to videos or like tips and tricks videos as well. Okay, so also you guys, I really, really want you guys to like shoot me like a DM. Whether it be like on my Instagram or my Facebook or you can comment below on this video how your trip went to Plato's Closet. Like if you use any of my tips and tricks if they did work if they didn't work if you have any new ones please let me know because i always not always but majority of the time when i have things i always sell to plato's closet because i always like to rotate it and like i can use the money and like buy more clothes if i really wanted to 
or you could save them as well. But thank you so much guys for watching. This video was a lot of fun and I'm pretty sure I might do some more of these type of videos. Let me know if you're interested in that as well. And make sure to hit that subscribe button if you already aren't subscribed. Um, you're going to see like so many different type of videos. I do so many different lifestyle videos, whether it be like DIYs, how-tos, challenges, makeup, like you name it, I do it. So there's something for everyone to watch. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys again back on my channel.